Welcome back everybody. Just kind of picking up a bunch of my polar stuff and that from the last video here. Kind of clean off these tracks. Get everything where it's supposed to be. I do have to apologize if there is some back background noise. Uh, we have about a 25 to 30 mile an hour wind and it makes this building creak and groan a little bit. I think once we spray foam this building We'll kind of take care of a lot of that. But for now, this is what we get. So thanks everyone for following along. Well, let's get down to today's project. What we're gonna focus on today is trying to get all these bolts out on both of these drums. As you can see, I let the jack down. The bell housing is actually now below the tracks. Now, if you actually look, when I let it down, it's so cold in here right now, that grease is pretty well solidified. We're about negative one. But we'll keep after it. So just starting out, these are a three quarter inch bolt, a three quarter inch head, I should say. We'll get all the ones we can get at. And then we will rotate the belt up. Get as many as we can, and if we have to, we might have to make a special tool to get some of the ones that don't rotate around. We'll see how far I can get these to rotate. I'm hoping they'll come all the way around. back over on the right hand side here start pulling these out that I loosened in a previous video and I tried for these lower ones on the other side but they actually there's a casting for this bolt hole you can see it down in there and they hit and I cannot get the main bell housing to go down any farther. So I think we're gonna have to start jacking it up and getting all these other ones to come around. We'll go from there. Well guys, same procedure as last time. I'll go up front, start jacking the bell housing up. And these shafts here will start to rotate. We'll be able to access those bolts. All right, we'll hold there, get my glove back on. Unfortunately, the only way to turn this camera on and off is with a touch screen. So every time I start and stop the camera, I have to take my gloves off. We'll repeat the process on the other side, get those out. Continue jacking up the bell housing, see how many more we can get out.
so just to kind of show you guys I never would have guessed that that bell housing would lift that high coming back here we're so close I'm gonna keep going here I don't know how much more I'm gonna get out of it I mean that draw bar is almost touching the ground here all right guys that is the limit that's where you start taking weight off the back of the crawler I have one bolt left right there I think I can get a wrench in there that's below that casting I think I can get that walked out and I have the same thing on the other side and this shaft is loose so check this out this is the oil in the rear end here it's like tar and you could cut this with a knife okay I don't think it's quite by the book but all the bolts are out and I'd be lying if I said that I didn't drop that last one because uh, it's definitely in the bottom of the case there but we'll get this all put back down now. Not sure if you guys caught that or not. All that oil just came around with that gear when we set it back down. It's crazy how thick that oil is. But good news is, bolts are out of both sides. I actually seen when we were letting this one down, it started to actually have a small gap in there. So that one should come apart fairly easily. This side could be another story. Real quick guys, before we call it a night here, I wanted to try and see if we could get the tracks to turn now that they are unhooked side to side from each other. So we took all them bolts out on that drum. There's technically nothing linking them side to side. They're now independent. So back here, let's put a high lift jack under the grouser. And then up front, it's got a chain fall here. I don't put a ton of pressure on here. I don't want to hurt these sprockets. I'm just trying to get it to help rotate along. So we'll come up here and I just have it hooked into the front of the C channel. Like I said, I don't put a ton of pressure on that one. I'm more kind of letting the high lift jack do its thing, but it is actually moving just slowly. This used to be standing straight up and down as you can see it's starting to move so when the weather gets nicer I think we're actually going to take the crawler as it is now outside hook it up and see if we can't get these to rotate I'd like to do that before we try and take these tracks off it's really going to save me a lot of time if everything moves I mean trying to get all these links broke back in after we're trying to reassemble, I just don't think is the greatest idea. I'm not 100% sold on running these links. There's not really much for life left in them, but it's what I have right now. So, with that, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. If you like what you see, go ahead and throw a like, subscribe. 
We'll see you on the next one. Got to introduce another shop foreman here. This is Cash. He's a Siberian Husky mix. And this is just his weather. He is loving it out here tonight. Aren't you?